everyone, my name's Simon and welcome to another episode of the Masate, uh, the Maserati guy. Amazingly aggressive looking stance with that optional carbon fibre splitter on the front just makes it look incredibly mean. It's got the Distronic, obviously, Distronic Plus mounted in the uh, in the Mercedes-Benz um, emblem there. Um, huge 20-inch AMG alloys with those extraordinary brakes in the front. Got the V12 badging on the side, of course. Got the carbon fiber mirrors and you'll see here that that's actually got cracked on the way back from Albury. Stone chip flew up, cracked that, but I have a new part on order so that will be um, replaced hopefully this week. Just one of those things. Got the soft closed doors of course, feature of the uh, CL. And that obviously that amazing kind of pillarless uh, aspect when you've got the windows down the B pillar, which is um, mounted on the window here, actually disappears out of sight. So you've got this whole arch-like area open. 275 35s on the rear, um, which given what I've just been doing probably won't last that long. You'll see what I mean. Um, now, there are park sensors in here, but it's really interesting because there's no obvious sign of them. So they must be somehow kind of um, embedded in the bumper, but normally you see the little circles, but there's, there's no sign of them here. So <laughs> it's kind of weird. I do get a slight, a, a, an occasional park sensor error, but they do work. There are set park sensors, definitely, but... Um, yeah, have to look into that. It's a view that you don't see very often on the road, CL65. Not sure how many there are in uh, Australia at the moment. Um, I'm gonna find out. There are various people have told me different things. Um, one guy said there was only a single digits in the country, but um, others have said there's more than that. So has these distinctive twin um, tailpipes um, with the AMG logo on the top, they are a bit dirty. They need a chrome restore on those. Um, also has this lovely carbon fiber diffuser at the back. That's part of the, the exterior carbon package. A few little scrapes, but uh, unfortunately that's to be expected with a car of this age. Beautiful look from the back. Absolutely gorgeous look. Um, and that enormous rear window that you get on the CLs. It's just a massive piece of glass. Very striking, very striking from the back. And of course, um, finishing the carbon fiber pack is the, is the boot loop spoiler. Um, again, in carbon fiber. Just adds a really nice aggressive touch to the look of the car. Turns it from more of a more of a cruiser to something a bit more, you know, meaty and aggressive. Um, power boot lead, obviously, um, and a huge, huge boot. You can see in there; it's very dark. It's not lighting's not very good, but a huge boot. And this is a nice little touch here. <laughs> This is your hooks for your shopping bags. How nice. I uh, got a bit of netting, storage netting on the, the side there, on the other side. Um, beautifully finished chrome um, pieces here, a little bit scratched and a little bit dirty. It needs a very good detailing. Coming around this side, you've got your petrol filler cap. Those beautiful wheels, you've got the side sills with that kind of intersecting design there. Uh, silver 
trim piece along the side just gives it an amazingly grand presence on the road gets a lot of looks on the road as you can imagine from people in the know obviously um, for your average Joe you'd probably think it was just a nice Mercedes but people in the know will really give it that look got lots of insect crap on there it does have a um, paint protection treatment on it so should should uh, keep the paint nice um, please excuse the flies we get some absolutely massive bugs have a look at this one god knows what that was before it hit the fog light but anyway so let's just take another look around it as you can see it's got this amazing road presence just the scale of it is impressive and imposing it's bonkers <laughs> it's absolutely bonkers i love it let's take another walk around I'll be doing a full interior tour at some point in the future. Um, I need to get it detailed. It's, it's a little bit dirty inside. I don't want to uh, show it too much <laughs> before it's been detailed. Um, but the other thing that's amazing about this car is the performance and the sound. So let's go and do some uh, launches and some flybys and you can see what I mean. So we're going to do a few uh, flybys and a few launches just to give you a, a taste of the amazing sound that this car makes and its amazing performance as well. Uh, so we're just going to do a few little runs up and down this street here and then I'll demonstrate the starts uh, with traction control on and then <laughs> with traction control off which is quite funny. I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it don't forget to smash that like uh, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber my aim is to try and reach a thousand subscribers this year uh, so it'd be great if you would contribute to that you can follow me on instagram and twitter at maserati guy 2017 and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye for now <music>